So, what binds dictators across history and geography? What traits do they share? They're usually charming, charismatic, and intelligent. They brim over with self-confidence and independence and exude sexual energy. They're also extremely self-absorbed, masterful liars, compassionless, often sadistic, and possess a boundless appetite for power. They share these traits with the classic characteristics of a genuine psychopath. In 1917, the fascist Mussolini praised the October Revolution that brought Vladimir Lenin and the Bolshevik movement to power in Russia, as Mussolini himself desired a revolution in Italy to bring the fascists to power. The Nazis waged a modern whirlwind campaign in 1930 unlike anything ever seen in Germany. Hitler traveled the country delivering dozens of major speeches, attending meetings, shaking hands, signing autographs, posing for pictures, and even kissing babies. On election day, the Nazis received 6,371,000 votes, over 18% of the total, and were thus entitled to 107 seats in the German Reichstag. It was a stunning victory for Hitler, Overnight, the Nazi party went from the smallest to the second largest party in Germany. Castro, his brother Raul, and Guevara were able to escape into the Sierra Maestra mountain range along the island's southeastern coast. Over the course of the next two years, Castro's forces waged a guerrilla war against the Batista government, organizing resistance groups in cities and small towns across Cuba. He was also able to organize a parallel government carry out some agrarian reform, and control provinces with agricultural and manufacturing production. It was not until October 20th that Libyan officials announced the death of Muammar al-Qaddafi near his hometown of Sirte. Video circulated of Qaddafi's bloodied body being dragged around by the fighters. 